All right, so you said freshman year you ain't you ain't play. Mm -mm. Sophomore year is when you started hooping. Mm -hmm. How was your sophomore year playing public? Excuse me, my transition sophomore year it was kind of easy. I ain't gonna lie, cause like <laughs> the level of competition wasn't so good. Yeah. So when I started playing, all I had. Hold on, did you play JV? No, I played. Uh, I think it was ball. It was straight varsity. We only had one team. There was no JV. Yeah, I don't think all it was right. JV, but so that, I think that, it was varsity, that. right? And um. You know, then during the tryout and stuff like that, I caught a, I think I caught like a putback dunk in the tryout. After that, it was like my my, my starting minutes, everything was guaranteed yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. you know? So, and that's why I was trying to, you know, kind of shy away because it's a whole different element. But yeah, now uh, my transition in sophomore year, it was almost like, almost a given. Like I said, the team wasn't that good. I really loved basketball. So it was almost like an opportunity for me to be that guy for the program. And um, right. that's what it was. You know, um, we had some other talent, don't get me wrong. I think it was a dude named Paul, if I'm not mistaken. He was talented, like, he's nice, but I really wanted to be a basketball player, like, my whole life, so. And what year was he in? Was uh, he I feel like he was a senior. Oh, so yeah, he was so, so, he was a senior. Right, so the transition, so, that's what I'm saying, when everybody. That was perfect. That was right, perfect. so when it was my time to shine, it was one, two, three. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, how about, so, June, and then, so I saw more, yeah, what about junior year? Junior year. What junior year was looking like for you? Like? My junior year was just exciting as far as like just like dunking, putting up numbers, yeah. um, finding my game as far as like being tra like I'm a transition player, you know, I play fast and yeah. stuff like that. So like those things, it kind of brought me to that nature. Like I said, competitive wise, it wasn't too much to be honest. Like, um, but just the experience of just, you know, wanting to be that guy. And that was my first time playing it for like, a, you know, when people come and see your games, yeah. you go back to school, they cheer you on yeah. the next day. That type of lifestyle. Love, I saw you killing you as well. Right. Yeah, uh, but it wasn't nothing heavy as far as like being heavily recruited. Like political wise, I wasn't, it was nothing with me in politics. Like you type my name up, you probably don't see nothing. You know what I mean? Coming from an era where you go to Lincoln, you on the New York News 12 every morning uh, yeah. behind one game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was that was what I was chasing as far as, because that's always what I saw when I, you know, when you watch the, um, what was the MSG? They had it on. MSG boss. Right, they had yep, that, and yep. so that was always like my goal as far as that. But I never had that political like my like probably up until almost like you said leading up to my senior year, and that wasn't even too much. It was Tippy reaching out to me, yeah. and that was more than enough, you know. So gotcha. yeah, that's an opportunity. Again, yeah. Right. So then we go into your senior year. I see. I looked up your stats. My son averaged. <laughs> yeah, I was going crazy. My son was wild. He <laughs> at twenty seven. Right. Senior year. Yeah. What, what, what that senior year is looking like, man? Man. But, but hold on. <laughs> going into junior, was you like working on your game? Was you just playing ball? My you uncles practicing. My yeah. uncles was like the that little the, the ghost on my shoulder yeah. during the off season. So mm -hmm. like when I'm not playing, you know, I'm over there ninety six and first. You know, in Isaac Project is where my grandmother lived. Um, that's where I grew up playing ball at, you know, and um, I, I'm over there just yeah. hooping. Whether it's playing three on three, random people, yeah. you might drive by by the FDR and catch me out there by myself just shooting the ball. Oh, yeah. You know, so that I think just, you know, wanting in the game so much, it, yeah. it gave me the opportunity to get better without really realizing it to a point where now it's time to go back and actually hoop. You know, you putting up 27, you know, and that's nothing you think about. You know, everybody want to average, but you got to be some type of good to do yeah, that. That's a fact. Yeah, that's so, fact. but like I said, the competitive it, is, it was, I just found out who I wanted to be as far as like the athlete yeah. playing for that specific organization. And yeah, shit was just one, two, three for me, you know. 27 points a game. Um, was there any tough matchups for you in your, in your high school career? Like, who who were some people that is anybody that you remember like I ain't gonna lie, he was he was tough. My we talking about leadership, so yeah. you say you was I try to think you was B division. Yeah. So was there anybody tough like well, nah, he, nah, he not he nice or, mm -hmm. or not hang a lot. Even if it even if it, it could be a matchup or could just been somebody it, it probably not be a match, it could have been a big man mm -hmm. or somebody. But like people that come to mind playing B division, that was super nice. Like Kevin Douglas, mm -hmm. he was nice. He was playing. B Jordan division. Washington too in B division. Jordan Washington. Mm -hmm. But I never had to play against them. Nah. Uh, I think uh, I think Kevin was ahead of me. Jordan Wash was on the other. He we was in the high school at the same time, but he was on the other like a whole nother like conference. Yeah, so right. So I ain't really see them. Maybe until like if we won, we wasn't that good neither. So I ain't about to talk like we won every yeah. game neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't even have a gym. So every yeah. all my games is away games. Every game was a yeah. away game for yeah, me. I could, I could definitely, right. I could definitely on you. Yeah, that, I'm saying so. Not having a gym. Seat. Wait. All right. So hold on. Let's get. It. <laughs> yeah, you told me that off camera. You said you had no gym. So yeah, what was y'all practicing at? Oh man. All right. So when it was cold, 
We had like we had a space they call a gym, and it was like a karate floor. It was no hoops. The ceiling was it wasn't the ceiling wasn't even high enough for you to throw a ball in the air. Seriously. So my thing was that was for me that was like a conditioning thing. So you know I don't remember if people remember the pacer test. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was what the most you could really do. So, but me understanding basketball, those are things like how to get like better conditioning wise. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So that was I guess how it worked out for me. But when it was nice outside, we would go to um over there by Stuyvesant High School, some courts outside. I don't know, yeah, we used to practice out there. And it's not even full courts, it's the half court part. I don't know if people really know, but it, we used to practice out there. And the crazy part is, I don't know if I still got my Facebook, but I had a picture from when I was 15, 16, outside with no shirt on, bony, <laughs> looking yeah. like Snoop. Yeah. Like, seriously, bro, I remember nah. them days. Like, And it was cold outside. So that was, that was, that was my, you know what I mean? That was my journey See, was of trying to- I practicing outside? Outside. Was... Right before it really get cold, cold, we was outside. That's that was the journey, man. That's insane, and then that's that's what that's what led me to be comfortable. But think about it, like I said, growing up over there, at Isaac Project, I was always outside, so yeah. it wasn't nothing so, different. So, yeah, I just had a team to play for yeah. now. So it was like you gonna make it work. Kind of the same thing. You was already in your element. You see what I'm saying? So I, for me, I wasn't thinking about it from a standpoint <clears throat> where somebody be like, "Yo, what? You had no gym?" It was like I never had a gym. That's tough. I always I just did what was necessary, and mm -hmm. all I needed was a hoop. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Wings don't got a gym either. I, yeah, I don't thinking. think it's big enough for anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, they don't I know that, but they, they had like, a shoot, they had a court, they had a basket, probably a space where you could go and put up some shots, and you might not be able to call it a gym, though. It was, yeah, it was something weird, like, oh, yeah. like and I think the games is like at a different place, like a different, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I was, and I was going, I was going to transfer, I was going to transfer the wings, my, that's my big, junior that's senior. A big basketball school. Yeah, like and, I, and I didn't know. My pops wanted me to go for real, and yeah. I feel like at that time of him being outside, he probably started. Like I said, we didn't have the knowledge, so when yeah. he started getting a lot, it was like, yo, don't you could transfer before it's too late. Yeah. But me being the type of person I was, like I always always try to stay grounded with what I had invested. Yeah. Like I was averaging twenty, like you said, twenty five. Yeah. So you was about to leave. I'm, I'm the man over there. Yes, yeah. it's the B division, yeah. you know, the double A or A, yeah. whatever it is, but. For me, it was just like, I felt like I could take advantage of an opportunity that I had right in front of me. I didn't have to go nowhere else. Yeah. And look how it worked out for me, you know, yeah. so. Nah, for sure, it definitely worked out in your favor.